Hello fellow drag racers, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, make this video on the Beyondo Mega 450 Delay Box. Um, Mega 450 Delay Box from Beyondo Racing gives you ultimate control of your race car and it's compatible with any ignition. And as you can see on the paper, there's the size, um, has the crossover delay box, selectable function output, driver reaction tester, trans brake safety switch, luminate keypad and LCD readout, how late display, tap up, tap down, time based shift activation, two four stage timers, programmable throttle stop override, programmable starting line enhancer, separate screen for bracket and pro tree, digital tachometer with peak RPM recorder and playback function, RPM based shift activation, throttle pedal linkage control data download port and uh, just want to go ahead and show you what's in my car and some of the functions that I use. I don't use everything on here so uh, if you got a box you got uh, more than what you ever need especially if you're uh, in your brackets you have the crossover delay box you can run off the other guy's tree uh, trans brake safety switch and uh, especially your two four-stage timers you also have the programmable throttle stop override the programmable starting line enhancer um, this is the SLE this feature allows you to have the gas pedal to the floor with the engine staying at a low preset RPM until after your top bulb comes on at that point engine goes up to the two-step or three-step and of course this requires a, a throttle stop and uh, I'll show you that here briefly some of the other manufacturers have uh, made quite a lot of them it also has the, okay here's the uh, throttle stop some of the best K&R performance engineering one-stop products advanced control devices beyond a racing dead and bare all are good. You choose to suit your needs or your wallet. Okay, I'm not going to go into uh, how to put this thing in your car. Uh, the instructions already have that, how to wire it. And this is the uh, bracket screen. As you can see here uh, your dial, your opponent's dial, your delay, and they also have a, a second delay into that, but I'm not going to go into that. that that's a, a separate course altogether. Okay, there are eight different screens for the Mega 450. This is uh, the one for the bracket mode screen, like you see here. Your dial, opponent's dial, delay. Like I said, we're not going to go into this, the second uh, delay. And the first screen will be, like you saw here, your dial, their dial, first delay, and of course we're not going to use that one. The other screens that are uh, with that we'll be using. Okay, the easiest way to make sure the Mega 350, 450 is in the bracket mode is pre press the bracket key. When in the bracket mode, the Mega 450, the LCD will display up to eight different screens the eight different screens broken into four types. The first type of screen is the bracket screen. This is the main screen. The second type of screen is the setup screen. There are five different setup screens. The last two types are the driver's reaction tester and the Mega 450 replay tack screen. The driver's reaction tester and the Mega 450 replay tack screens are the only screens shared with the bracket mode and the pro mode. This means that the driver's reaction tester will function the same in either mode and the replay tack will display the same information in either mode and you can see that more in the instructions okay I want to say something to the uh, screen 2 SFO mode understanding selectable function output SFO so you have uh, five different ways you can use the SFO and says when the F SFO is set 
to a one SFO functions or the starting line enhancer. This means that the throttle stop connected to the SFO will control the starting line RPM. And number two, when the SFO was set to the SFO mode number two, uh, you'll have the four stage timer. That This means that a throttle stop with a dual solenoid can have a separate four stage timer driving each solenoid. Another function would be to control a stage of NOS. Number three, when the SFO was set to <clears throat> excuse me, number three, SFO function can function as a line lock and you can read the rest. SFO four, number four button when the SFO is set to the number four, the SFO function as a separate second trans brake output and number five when the SFO is set to the number five the output is turned off and in my case when I'm using uh, for super gas super street it is turned off so I don't have the uh, special function number five button and I'll show you the hookup on that on the electrical connections you have your your 12 volt then you have the second one down which is connected to the trans brake this one here is for the SFO mode and if you're connected to that uh, you've got to run a separate wire to the throttle stop uh, controlling it in the SFO mode number one and since I'm not using it there's no wire uh, on this connection here and it's set to number five like I said before to so sum my typo errors here, let's make this throttle, and then this is uh, R. All are good. Also, want to mention Digital Delay, who makes the boxes for Beyond a Racing. Since they started making uh, these boxes in the 70s, so sorry about that. Okay, drag racers inside the car. Here's that third terminal coming down. That's at SFO terminal. You have uh, anywhere from one to five if you want to go ahead and use them. And uh, my, I will show you here in just a second here uh, on the box where you can apply the numbers. Right now, there's no wire going to it, so SFO. You can choose one through five. And uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is energize the uh, air cylinder and turn that guy on I'll go ahead and look at the, uh, the fuel pedal gas pedal and you know, wasn't that much alrighty what that does you you have let's say 1500 pounds in your uh, CO2 you have re air regulated to 100 PSI only and then you on your throttle it uh, is inside the uh, engine compartment where that air cylinder is connected to and uh, they have full control of the throttle okay and this is the bracket the bracket uh, screen number one as you can see if you want to go ahead and put a number in there you can just go ahead and use clear and we'll say your dial is 90. Just go ahead and put 900, and as you can see, it already put the number in there. Then we come down to next, your opponent, their dial. We'll say they're you're running a 12 second car. Oh, excuse me. Then you go ahead and clear it. Put 12 in here. One, two, zero, zero, and there you go. Now. If you hit next here, come down, you can see those arrows move. This is your first, this is the, probably the only delay you'll use. This is the, the time, 1.03, when you're coming off the, the top bulb, it gives you like 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Normal reaction time is a half a second, so even on the instructions, uh, they give you 1.0. Anyway, that's where it's at. 1.02, 1.03 is good. 
Move into the next screen. Go to setup. Here you find we're not using the tap, we're not using how late. PB mode. Uh, we're using push button one. SFF mode. There it is, number five. Okay, let's go to the next screen. And this is on the top. It says SLE, starting line enhancer. Read the instructions. And the programmable throttle stop override. And again, you have a timer one, timer two. This is for your SLE. And we'll go to the next screen. Okay, this is the next screen for your throttle stop. Stage one, you'll set it. There's your uh, arrows here. What you can do is hit the clear button. And we'll say if you want to 1.7 seconds. You see it, 1700 decimal points there. Now this is including, you got to remember, the including the delay. So the delay was, remember, 1.03. After that, you'll have 1.7 seconds. This thing will uh, come on the stop. And then the next one will be next. Uh, what you want to do is hit clear. Is when you want that stop to come off. Rather on. We'll say 3, 5, 3.5 seconds. And there you go. And in order to go ahead and test this thing, um, we'll Okay, YouTubers, that was a lot of time on there, so we'll go ahead and um, check it. We'll say you've, uh, you're in the stage beams already, and you hit the trans brake button here, and then full throttle to the floor, and then release it. And see, right there, in that time, throttle went back to idle and it went back after 3.5 seconds back to normal again you have full control of the throttle now if you want you can also have another stage here on down track that uh, unnecessary I found out that you can have it really fake them out okay youtubers I went to the next screen it's got the TAC highest RPM 7350, my chip is set for 75. Shift point is 5300. I just set this up arbitrarily. And number of cylinders, you program that in. And again, you can do that with the uh, selecting these arrows here. So it's an eight cylinder, shift mode is on high. And for the first gear, number one, one, two shift. Okay, YouTubers, wanna go ahead and show you the uh, pro setup. And what I've done is just go ahead and make a little uh, embossing thing and some tape here. Pro mode setup key number nine. So you hit this setup key number nine. This goes to the pro mode. Got your shift. Okay, as you can see, the shift point is set at 0.7, and then the first stage will come on at 0.3, and then it'll come off the stage at 1.5 seconds and to demonstrate we'll just go hit the trans brake button here and we'll watch that shifter that thing is deadly quick guys so if you want a good device throttle stops electronics the way to go I'm going to go ahead and show you two, two other buttons on the steering wheel I have this is the reverse button here goes off the tr goes to the trans brake can go in reverse because it's a special pro brake and then this this button here is for tap up tap down I don't use that okay drag racers here's the throttle stop in action after pressing the uh, trans brake button and there you go hey guys I forgot to tell you something here if you run the super gas, super comp, or even if you got a fast light car, you may need to put some delay in it. So this is the uh, pro mode screen. And I went ahead and shifted the next button down to the, uh, the first delay here. So if you're quick on the buttons, we'll go ahead and clear this. And we'll say put some time in here. Uh, we'll go ahead and say two. 
and then zero. Oh, I made a mistake here. Well, see, if you make a mistake, just go ahead and hit clear. We'll go to uh, 0, 2, 3. There you go. And there's the delay. If you read a light, go ahead and punch some numbers in there like that, and you should be okay. Every car is different. Thanks. For hey guys, I forgot to mention the uh, throttle stop solenoid. 12-volt uh, source going to it. You have the ground, and then you have an air eighth inch model of mine is eighth inch air tube going to the uh, throttle stop itself and you see it's hooked up to the linkage and you have a quarter inch air tube coming from the, your air bottle and uh, it is regulated to 100 psi by the regulator and once activated it'll go onto the stop and then as soon as the stop comes off you'll have full control of the throttle that's it thanks